The Life of Mary Edwards Walker by Colin Burke, Liam Kelly, Grant Murray, Susie Roffey, and Avery Splinter. Mary Edwards Walker, commonly referred to as Dr. Mary Walker, was an American abolitionist, prohibitist, prisoner of war, and surgeon. She's the only woman to have ever received the Medal of Honor. Mary Edwards Walker was born on November 26, 1832 in Oswego, New York, raised by her progressive parents alongside her six brothers and sisters. Our topic, The Life of Mary Edwards Walker, connects to the main idea of frontiers in history because she was the first woman ever to be awarded the Medal of Honor. At the beginning of the Civil War, she volunteered at a makeshift hospital located at the United States Patent Office and then later at three field hospitals in Warrenton, Virginia, Fredericksburg, Virginia, and Chattanooga, Tennessee. Because female surgeons were not permitted to join the Union Army during the Civil War, she was also assigned to a woman's prison and orphanage. While working as a surgeon behind enemy lines, she was captured and spent time in Confederate prison where she came back very sick and suffered injuries including damaged eyesight that lasted the rest of her life. She showed great amount of courage as one of the first women to show dress reform in public. She wore pants which were thought to be male clothes at the time to prove that men and women were equal. She fought for women's rights and voting rights as she showed girls and women all across the world these great things. While some people think that women should follow the expectation that is shown and that women should wear the clothes named for them and shouldn't be capable of doing successful things like being a surgeon during the Civil War, Mary Edwards Walker proved them wrong. She was an American surgeon during the Civil War period who ended up being a feminist who influenced and educated people on dress reform, women's rights, and women's voting. Before Mary Edwards Walker joined the military, women were not allowed to be surgeons during her time. She was a great surgeon, and because of this, she won the Medal of Honor. Mary Edwards Walker was a role model to future generations. She influenced future generations by paving the way for young people growing up to believe in what they want and to never give up on what they believe is right, even if people are trying to stop them. She influenced future generations by breaking some of the gender stereotypes, such as wearing pants. While growing up, she lived on a farm, and while doing her farm work with the approval of her parents, they let her wear pants while doing work to let her move more freely. This sparked for Mary Edwards Walker. This had given her the drive and determination to make it acceptable for women to wear pants whenever they wanted to. At her wedding ceremony, she wore trousers and a dress coat. This was a big step in breaking gender stereotypes because women were usually forced to wear dresses. Because of this, she influenced many on the way to dress nowadays. When the Civil War started in 1861, Mary Edwards Walker volunteered in Washington to join the Union effort to work as a medical officer, but wasn't allowed to because she was a woman. In 1862, Dr. Walker went to Virginia to provide medical care to the wounded, and in 1863, she was briefly appointed surgeon in an Ohio regiment. During the Civil War, Mary often crossed battle lines just to care for wounded soldiers and civilians. In 1864, Mary was captured by Confederate troops as a spy. She was held as a prisoner for four months. She was released from prison in April of 1864 and became the assistant surgeon of the Ohio 52nd Infantry a month later. After the war, Mary was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Andrew Johnson for her valiant efforts in the war. She was denied a commission as a medical officer because she was a woman. She volunteered anyway and eventually was appointed assistant surgeon of the 52nd Ohio Infantry. Walker receiving the Medal of Honor was a big thing for women around the world as she was the first woman to ever receive it and she is still the only one to have received it out of the nearly 3,500 recipients. She received it because of her help in the Civil War where she was a surgeon for the Union but she still helped soldiers from both sides of the war. She bravely crossed the battle lines and saved many people during the war. This was very important to feminism back then as before Walker's time, women were not allowed to be surgeons and they were expected to be nurses. They were also not allowed to be spies, but Walker was, has changed that, further proving that she heavily influenced women's rights. 
In a period of confusion about the rightful recipients of the award, the medal was revoked two years before her death. Dr. Walker remained proud of her service and her contributions to the Campaign for Women's Rights, and the 1977 congressional reappraisal of her achievements led to the restoration of the honor. In conclusion, we believe that Mary Edwards Walker heavily influenced feminism back in her time because she showed women all around the world that they could do everything that men could. This inspired women to protest to gain all the rights that men had, which they did, gaining the right to vote a few years after Walker died. We also know she influenced women's rights because she made it possible for women to become surgeons, showing everybody that women are equal to men.